And look who just dropped by, somebody with a very Irish sounding name, Paul Kelly. Hi. Paul, is that your heritage? Uh, Irish, yeah. I'm, uh, I guess I'm three quarters Irish and a quarter Italian. And a little bit of Aussie too. So. Yeah. What do you think of uh, the request show so far? Uh, it's good. There's a few of my big faves there. You know, um, there's no Australian acts here. We thought we'd bring you in, you see, make up for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to sing? <laughs> no, no. Did you get the connection between Sinead O'Connor and the Screaming Blue Messiahs? Yeah, I did. Am I allowed to reveal it? No, I think we'll just uh, let, let people guess. But how's the tour going anyway so far? Uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, it's been really enjoyable so far. The, um, I really like the way um, New Zealand audiences actually listen when you do a quiet song. That's quite unusual. We played the, uh, the clip for Dumb Things a couple of weeks ago. How did you uh, hook up with all those circus people? Um, uh, there was an American director directed it, a guy called Larry Williams, and he found the people. It's um, actually, they're all real circus people from uh, a little town about an hour north of Los Angeles called Fillmore. And um, they're a travelling sideshow. They travel mainly around California in the summertime. You're, um, you're just off to America to play with the Smithereens, but I also understand you're recording an album there. Yeah, uh, we're, we're doing a six week tour with the Smithereens, and after that we'll stay on and record. In Memphis? In Memphis. Now, why Memphis? Well, I wanted to, uh, I wanted to record in America um, because we have an American record company and it, it's, uh, it's a little frustrating dealing with someone from such a long distance. So um, I said to them, we'll come and record in America. But I also wa wanted to keep out of the, the big cities, um, Los Angeles, where A&M are based, our record company in New York, um, mainly for the expense. Uh, there's a lot of good studios in, in Tennessee, either in Memphis or Nashville, which I thought we could record in either one of those places. And um, uh, we can live there much cheaper than, um, than in the big city. And you're using Scott Litt this time? Scott Litt, who's uh, um, done the last two R.E.M. albums, I think, and the last Patti Smith album. And I've also worked with him before on uh, some remixes. So what are you, you're going for a big wall of guitar sound, are you? No, no, we'll probably go for, um, I don't know, more of a doo-wop sound or, and we might use some strings and I think we'll use a lot of tambourine in this record. Now, well, this week you're, you're in the South Island. Can you remember where you're, where you're playing? Tomorrow night you're playing Wellington. Wellington. And then we um, catch a ferry to Picton. Uh, the first show on the, on the South Island is Dunedin. Invercargill. Invercargill. Oh, Invercargill. We start at the bottom and work our way up. Invercargill on Wednesday. Dunedin on Thursday, and then two shows in Christchurch on the weekend. Well, look, I hope you enjoy the South Island. It's a, it's a pleasure to have you back in the country, and good luck uh, with your new album in America and your tour over there as well. Thanks. Okay. It's good to be back. Paul Kelly, who's touring the South Island this weekend.